the <laughs> owner of edible arrangements of the Glock City. That's the episode. That's it. Oh, no. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Oh, fucking A. Oh, holy shit. Oh, why is the rum gone? The Shug Shane Hollister. Logan Anaiken. Lyndon Ehlers. Wrestling with music and life for life. <laughs> Rats with music and live episode forty. I can't even believe we got there, but we, it, you know, it took a while. It took, well, I don't know what a year and a half, two years. I don't fucking know how long we've been doing this, but I just want to cheers already. Forty fucking episodes. We got a lot to oi, talk oi. about. Cheers. Click it or ticket. If you want one, let me know. No, I'm just doing edibles. <laughs> Bro's over there the drinking edible coffee. Arrangements have arrived. So, you know, again, um, that's a real man's drink right there. Everybody, coffee. everybody, uh, has had like numerous shows here. I shouldn't say everybody. I you wouldn't two. have even been here. Right? <laughs> and we are joined yeah, once again with a real brother, a brother who just moved back. We won't get in the details of where he lives. <laughs> Inside joke. It's okay. I live at 2032 West Second Street. <laughs> In spirit, it back. looks a lot better now. <laughs> In spirit, we all live there still. Um, so yeah, uh, bruh, how's the uh, how's the coming back uh, in general? Um, surreal as fuck. Right. It's, it's weird. We've spent the last three months planning this move, and. <laughs> To be here and to wake up and go do random Quad City shit. Again. Again. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> how did I get here? How the fuck this happened? Like, I feel like I'm dreaming and I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be in Seattle still. It's the best thing for everybody. And, and, and what I'm a selfish just saying, everybody here, thing to say. You know, the, <laughs> right here. The people that matter right here. Uh, no. I, I will say uh, it is really good to be back for... The important reasons, you know, like I needed to borrow a truck and I called you up and yep. then you, <laughs> you let me use your you truck. You want to talk about that a little bit? And then we got your... Wasn't the best planning. That almost came out of my nose there for wow, a second. dude. <laughs> that was an adventure. I'll just say that. Uh, <laughs> we went to the richest <laughs> like, fucking house. The nicest house ever. <laughs> like, this dude, uh, it, it just looked like, uh, I don't even know, man. Just the, the nicest house ever is the best way to say it. Literally had an N on the on the front uh, gate that opened. You know? What? Just a big N. And that's probably saying too much already. But anyway... <laughs> The Wait, N the, stands the, for the nice away. house of LeClaire. The dude made some schmeckles. He had yeah. the N-word on the front, <laughs> yes. on the front I was gate. like, we are back Whoa. in the Midwest after all. The that gate. doesn't sound like LeClaire. <laughs> 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 Just puts that on his gate, like, uh, stay away. I mean, the gate was... <laughs> <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> the gate was black. So oh. you are... Uh, anyway, so uh, we... we <laughs> <laughs> We're canceled. Cut, cut uh, it out. That's you gotta add this, man. Well, I don't know. I was just, I was just you this. You know, adding details. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Anyway, so we fucking get that thing. And amazing table, by the Super way. Nice Good tip. selection. Facebook uh, Marketplace. Yeah. Coming through again. Bro, just won. He won that day for sure. Problem was. It's a table that we, we took people. a route back. Wait, like a kitchen that, table? Oh, like a. Yeah, it's like the table's like twelve feet long. It's like a straight up like, like you best mean like say it's Magic the Gathering table. <laughs> like two Batman, commander pods Batman, of four, fucking, two people at the ends to supervise and talk shit. Ba- exactly. Batman, uh, fucking Kim yes. Basinger, so fucking I'm, that far I away. I made that joke already. I'm like, Jeanette, you're gonna sit at this in. I'm gonna sit at that. You're gonna have to salt. <laughs> Ten minutes later, your food's gonna be cold, but you'll have salt on it. <laughs> Dude. I seen that movie before I went out to Colorado in a oh rich ass situation, and that happened to me, and it was as awkward as you think it is. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, dude, what, ten year old or whatever when I went out to Colorado. <laughs> yeah, just sitting there, just going like, "Why the fuck am I way over here and you're way over there?" Like, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. You know? See, that that would happen to me, but I would have <laughs> taken way too many edibles or something right before, and it would just been way worse. <laughs> Like that's a real thing. Fuck. It's like this table feels like it's a mile away. Yeah, it's just going. 
<laughs> like it longer. Dude, my vision's so bad that if it was now, I, the other person would just look blurry without drinking. I'd be like, who the fuck's on the other side? Oh, shit, that's Alicia. Didn't... That's one thing about the future that I was really disappointed in. You know, I figured there'd be technology or some kind of like accessory you could wear to fix that problem. But 2023, no. and if you can't see, you are just, just fucked. glasses, just glasses. glasses. Oh, like the, oh, I'm sure they'll come. Up. Just melt LASIK, sand. Or whatever it's called. LASIK. LASIK yeah. 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 Well, well I was thinking I mean, like you could go to a, like, do you go to some kind of doctor? And right. And they would prescribe you like a glass that could somehow change your already vision. happened. Already have the prescription. Never got it filled. I, I just am too stubborn, and I'm like, you know what? I can see. I can see when I squint that, hard. That is what would happen. If people would do that. <laughs> like I could get this thing that just fixes it, but I just can't. I don't. Know I'm just gonna time. look like a dork fuck, and Sorry. I don't wanna. I'm fucking old school. I'll shove you in a goddamn locker, kid. It's Sunday, what is, and you're wearing a college shirt. Yeah, well, it's true. I'm, I'm fat. Bad, always. So I'm just wearing always a wearing shirt. a fucking polo. I don't know why. It's so it's professional. This is my most comfortable shirt by far. When you I know. go into the office, the most, which I don't do anymore. Well. Huh? Yeah, well, when I go into the office, I'd always wear a collared shirt. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, collared greens, collared shirt. Anyway, the point is, is we uh, <laughs> we have a lot to talk about. You guys had, have had numerous shows since we've talked, and, and you know, we don't have to get into it, but you were supposed to have a show today, which, uh, you know, again, glad you're on the 40th. Fuck yeah. But uh, I, I, can you share any word, or was it just kind of like a last-minute thing? You get- well, we all turned out to be Nazis. <laughs> Is that um, what the end was for? I'm going to scoot house? my chair over to oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. We revealed ourselves to be Nazi doom. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Well, one uh, of Ro- you was bald. Ross, so. Ross got really sick. And oh, okay. like, it was like, we kind of just thought it was like a cold and it got worse and worse. And Yeah, just, I seen the, the, the P word. That should start with N. Pneumonia, yeah, I, I don't right? know. Well, it, it, it seemed like pneumonia, but I don't know. He, he, hasn't, he hasn't gone to... Well, there's something called walking pneumonia. That's another one that's yeah. bullshit that just what hits you. 60. There's 60 milligram. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's why. No, take it. <laughs> Bro, I was like, oh, you better fucking like, look at that so, shit I, first. I was at Swedish show last night in yeah. Dubuque, <laughs> and there's this dude, there's this guy that I, I kind of don't know, but, like, I was just talking to him forever. And, like, I, I, I realized that, like, a good way to end a conversation is to pull out a bottle of edibles and be like, have one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll either a take one and then I tell them how big they are and they freak out and they leave or or they just freak out and leave. Try to go throw you up. Just, yeah. Yeah. And and goes, hey, by I the way, like, you're actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I'm like, take one. Take <laughs> and he goes, oh, I don't know if I should. <laughs> I was like, how long has it been since you had an edible? He's like, he's like, oh, I don't know. I'm afraid. They kind of fucked me up. I was like, how long has it been? He's like, six months. I was like, these are going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just walks away. Too late. So I just oh, put him back cool that he pack. became schizophrenic and probably murdered somebody. In yeah. Well, I mean, I'm actually kind of thinking that's <laughs> probably what his case is. Uh, he doesn't need any edibles for that. <laughs> but yeah, I was supposed to. We would have played in Des Moines tonight. I played in Dubuque last night. And Obsidian Hammer would have played tonight, but. Nope. So, <laughs> where would you have played in Des Moines? Uh, it's a place called the Whole Tavern. I've never been there. I've never played in Des Moines, so I was kind of excited. But fuck yeah, we're 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 in Chicago in May next month. And oh, okay. fucking Reggie's. So oh, yeah, Reggie's. Know. Yeah, Reggie's is one of my favorite venues. In yeah, Canada. Reggie's is the, yeah, the, fucking, it's rad, the right? fucking like. Obsidian Hammer plays Reggie's in May, and Pitlord plays Livewire Lounge in July. So dope, yeah, man! Chicago a couple times. Yeah, we'll get into it with the plugs. So, yeah. did anything happen uh, cool at the show yesterday? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just played. You know, it's well, fucking... I mean, beyond like oh, the usual. Man. It's just uh, Lemon's the um, lord of the fucking cutoff. <laughs> we, uh, uh, hey, hey, I want you to talk about but... natural <laughs> fucking heel, bro. You're not <laughs> shutting me <laughs> up, bro. I'm gonna fuck it, cut well, you off. Isn't... I feel hyped as fuck for the next pit lord show. <laughs> 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 I was like, well, I mean, uh, nothing special, nothing different. Like it all went off just fine. Yeah, yeah that was no I, badass pits. I've, I've Nobody played so many slamming. shows in the past, like, yeah. two years that, I don't know. I mean, the show just happening is no longer the weird, fun part of the story. It's you know like, what gets my dick hard, man? I'm, I'm, when you're talking about fucking, oh, man, and we played this song and fucking pit broke oh, out. Okay, all right. You know yeah. Wait, right. I'm wrong. When you edit this, can you just stop at... 
But when it gets my dick hard, then you've been fucking. Because that's a throwback to a couple years ago. Well, that would be the wrestling with music and life episode four forty uh, title. But uh, <laughs> like, you like, know what gets my dick hard? No, we actually okay. So so one thing did happen that yeah. I kind of I've, I've already forgotten about, but. We got a chant. We had nice. a burgers and dogs chant. What? That's on the song a- on the song Burgers and Dogs and it goes Burgers and Dogs. Burgers and dogs. dogs. Right. I love it. And My they started part. doing it. Damn. Like, in that's the song. Rad. And it, so that was cool. That Fuck was yeah. that was that's what I can remember. But everything went off. I didn't have any fucking problems with my fucking ear monitors. And that's a first. Nothing. We it's like a second because the last show we played, I didn't have any issues. Do you think you know what you fixed or you figured just- it out? Got it. No. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's like <laughs> I have to not, I have to not freak out as much. I can't swag bang to the total like of the full ability. Yeah, um, because it's something about my right ear is shaped weird compared to my left, mm. and also right now I'm using two left sides because I lost the right side and I had an extra one, but it was also the left side. Yeah. So now I have this one in my right side that's upside down Jeez. and it's just kind of like in there. So, <laughs> so it probably doesn't like stay in there. Right. It doesn't stay in the right. So I have a bigger earpiece in it. So it kind of sits Damn. and, and sometimes I even take like athletic tape and I tape over my ear. Hell yeah. But like, uh, I'll walk around like that. And people think I have a wound. Like, <laughs> what'd you do to your head? I'm like, oh, it's just, it's just tape. Oh, okay. but um, but yeah, it, I just have to not headbang as much, which kind of sucks. I don't but, know if it's a white person thing, but I, the one thing I have <laughs> that I'm definitely afraid, I'm definitely uh, supportive of in ears, but like, I sweat inside of my ear yeah, out. Yeah, well, like, that's why I, I'm people, such a sweaty fuck. That when I, what, when I eat spicy food, when I know it's yeah. really spicy, yeah. I'll feel it. Like I'm like, oh my, my it, fucking it ears are like. Fucking on fire. What's her, it feels what's her like name? it's coming out. What's her name? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you the, well, that's why people anyway. get people get like custom <laughs> in ear molds right. made. And there's I know there's a guy in Colorado that does that. But when we see Paul Masvidal, I was like, what the fuck is that? Because yeah. I seen his in ears and they look like they yeah, just chunky. Perfect. Yeah, they, they sit in there. Yeah. But also Paul Masvidal's got short hair and he's not headbanging. He, he's he just had like, banged a little bit. Uh, he did a windmill. There's, that's my Paul Masvidal. <laughs> Impression. Uh, uh, what if you go with the? <laughs> except for it's actually oh, uh, because he's got a fucking vocoder, so he's not. Wow. Well, when he actually does Listen sing, you're right. Fucking I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I say know. go with old school wrestling headgear. Yeah. yeah. That's Fuck yeah. That'd be See, dope. that's what I thought of instantly when you said you would use sports day. But I was like, just put yeah. fucking headgear on and snap uh, that chin on. You, you, yeah. fucking headband and you all can, day. Yeah. You can still nowhere. perform with it because Kenny Hotz would wear that <sighs> for his one um, mentally handicapped character. Yeah. That's a trade on Kenny versus Minnie. What, what, what's one of the name? one Fuck. of the hardest. I, could, I tried to look to it up the other day because uh, I was trying to no, find that gift. Uh, no, you're you're thinking of um, Maurice Del Taco. Maurice Del Taco is <laughs> like, but he also wears he wears wrestling gear on the other the retarded episode. Yeah, or who's oh, the bigger okay. He's like, um, like, yeah. like just well. getting blatant about it. That is a hard yeah. episode to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so uncomfortable. I'm still for free. That real YouTube. cringe. On, on yeah. like stream, cool. he was talking about the cringiest episodes, and I'm surprised I didn't get on there because. Did it not? Yeah, nah, like really? gay people like the most? Like Dude. those two are just so. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> like I, I try to, I try not. I, if I see even one clip or something put up somewhere or something went viral, I have to watch the whole I'll fucking just, thing you, over. I'll just start <laughs> binge watching it. Yeah, it's fucked. It's, it's just geez. like this episode, you know, and. And, and all the episodes before, everybody just binge watches wrestling with music and life, and I, I just get sick of it. I, I get sick and tired of so hearing so how excited people are that. about this fucking podcast. You how know? annoyed are you yeah. to go out in public and people recognize you? Is it that a sucks, burden? And it actually yeah. has happened, like, which was really weird. You in the bathroom, I mean, like, yeah, I signed my autograph. Well, I'm trying to take a shit, hey, uh, your podcast, and I go, oh shit, I'm getting, I'm getting lettuce. And no, IV, it's, like, it's actually the, the opposite for me. Everybody knows me for everything else, and then they go, podcast? You know the other thing you do? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I've never really real. never real. heard of it ever. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll say it all the time, and then, like, I'll say it to certain wrestlers, and they're like, 
Do you have a podcast? I'm like, bro, I told you this like four months ago. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You know what though? Like the like, uh, you know how many times people tell me they do something else, like outside of music. Like I'll be talking to somebody in a band, right? And or they have another band. I know multiple people that are in like multiple really good bands. I've only heard one of them. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, I like, don't fucking have the energy to right, go and search right, out let me all just, of your oh, creative fuck, I have endeavors. To, like, right, look this up on my phone. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> think about the odds that it's good. Oh, don't, don't, right. that's the point. That's Here's true. The, as I learned, they're not. <laughs> they're <laughs> usually not, <laughs> or they're usually not what I'm looking for at the time. Because, because I'm definitely one of those people that's like. It's really hard for me to take recommendations a lot of times because I've already hooked on something else that I found. Probably phonics. Like like me and me and Emily are both the same way. Like we show each other <laughs> each other stuff show each other stuff all the time. But like we I guarantee we both yeah. like as soon as you listen to like ten seconds of that song, you okay, I'm gonna go back to what I was Right. Yeah, to now. But like, yeah, like a year later, you might go back yeah. to that and be like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect time. I got a feeling every, like that every, dinner, every dinner that they have, Emily and Lyndon, it's like, did you hear the new Birgit Katam session? Yeah. Yep. It's a German band that no one's heard of. Yes. <laughs> Pass me the spaghetti. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is passing spaghetti? Like, no, no, we don't play German rules. We don't fucking ask uh, to pass anything. That's true. Well, then you need to get like a especially 14, gas. They 14 don't foot long table, so that yeah. way when you yeah. finally pass it, by the time you get back, you may be into the band that was yeah. suggested. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> was that bitch fourteen yes, feet? Full if, circle. I think that bitch full was fourteen feet, dude. dude. He's, He's got a fourteen foot fucking table. You could table, put a basketball uh, hoop on the top. Of <laughs> Christ, bud. <laughs> Live in our fantasies, finally. That's you know, fucking awesome. awesome. Almost forty, Holy just like shit. the episode. <laughs> Live in our fantasies now. <laughs> hey, mom, I got a podcast. <laughs> What's that? Fifteen fucking years. Me and, <laughs> for real. Me, me and Emily are talking about starting a podcast. <laughs> I love it. You have we're, to do the dinner watch, table podcast with you well, guys. Well, we're gonna watch all of the Fast and the Furious movies. Oh, my God. And each, episode, Rob, fun. Each, Rob, yeah. uh, each episode is going to be us analyzing each movie until the 10th, the newest one comes out, and then we're going to go see it. Because we, we went to the movies and we watched Mario, and that movie was amazing. I fucking I loved it. it yeah. I we watched, fucking loved so it. Spoiler. We saw a trailer for, for Fast X, yeah. and Emily and just goes, <laughs> That looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's just like, I want to watch. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. dude, it does. It's and like, how the fuck do they keep making these movies? Neither of us have seen anything other than like the first movie. Which was the only thing worth a fuck. Hobbs and no, Shaw. the third one was really good. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've, I've, oh, go back and refer to it for me. All right, all right. All right. Third one Tokyo good. Drift, that one apparently sits way later in the timeline. Yeah. Uh, well, it was what I hear. Retcon. Was Ludacris yeah. in the first one? Second. Okay, so I did. Ja watch Rule the was one in then. the first one. Ja okay. Rule. Yep. I just remember you know, the the and the fast and the furious. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even remember that. Like it was yesterday. Was, and I, I love, don't even. I, I the, love. Must have been a song in that fucking I love, thing. I love movie franchises that have like more than like five or plus movies. Yeah, but horror still, movies can run with that shit for st- fucking ever. Yeah, you know what I'm dead today. It's so. Well, fast that's not and the furious, a. Uh, it's a reboot. Fast and the oh, Furious okay. almost has like Friday the Thirteenth con- continuity. Yes, for yeah. sure. Like and absurdity. Absurd. That's not <laughs> the next word. Yeah, it's it's absurd and it just like it goes. <laughs> Like, dude, I the, love it. The quote in the new one that I saw the trailer today too was like, "Dude, this looks dumb <laughs> as fuck." What is it that? looks like Vin fucking, Diesel's phoning it in. Yeah, Vin yeah. Diesel. Vin <laughs> Diesel with the franchise is like, "I am with, dude. with, yeah, he <laughs> with the, all those Schwarzenegger it's like fucking one liners. Schwarzenegger or Neger? Uh, what? <laughs> you said what I, I said. What I said. Schwarzenegger. Fucking Arnold one liners. Arnold one-liners, he's like, shouldn't have left me my car. And then drives off a fucking bridge like he's gonna survive. Like, what the fuck? Like, that like, fucking that shitty 70s frame is gonna tolerate driving down the side of a dam with its drum brakes and no power Dude, steering. They went, apparently, they went to fucking space, bro. Uh, and and hey, you know what the sad fucking, part is? That's pretty fucking furious up in space. We all could have watched that and suspended our disbelief, but yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson has to go and fucking yeah. tweet about it. <laughs> fucking ruin everything. Uh, do I think, do I think a Dodge Charger could drive down the size of a dam? I, I did until so. I saw that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> what a son of a bitch. That science oh, wizard. Shit. I appreciate that too, Like, but I'm... 
I, I, I pride myself in my ability to sit and watch a movie like Hobbs and Shaw or, or Friday the 13th or something that's just so absurd. So just, ridiculous. Just, just shut the brain off. I mean, there's some stuff that's right. dumb to a point where I can't tolerate it, like any Adam Sandler movie. Well, let me, let me add I mean, all of them. pretty bad. Uh, all of them? I wouldn't say all the, of them. I, the I best, best, the, the, dude, at this point in time, the, actually pretty fucking funny. At, there's, at this point the first, in time, I didn't watch the second one. At yeah. this point in time, yeah. the vast majority of his movies are dog shit. And I completely agree, agree with you. I think the some of them are just ridiculous. I'm but, not going to argue against yeah. Waterboy or like nope. you know the early ones, but I can't go back and watch those either. I don't Maybe know. I can still I can still watch Happy Gilmore. And oh fucking, yeah, and um, Billy Madison for and sure. And I do Billy miss Madison, yeah. I do miss those absurdist comedies where yeah. you have shit like yeah. And I'm gonna be waiting for you out in the parking lot like that shit. Fuck yeah! <laughs> like the guy Captain with the nail in his head. <laughs> <laughs> or the one where he's like, "I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast." And he goes, "You eat pieces of shit for breakfast like that." Those were that shit was. You know what? It was probably ad libbed, but it was great. I don't know. Before, I, from what uh, they well, said, they they followed a script pretty well, but it was just so well written. It's before it's like the it's Judd Adam Sandler and all the assholes. Yeah, com, it all you know? for Adam Sandler. Right. Stopped at Grandma's Boy. Mm. Like, and he wasn't even in it, but he was involved in it. And like anything after that, I think they peaked with that. No, what is it? Uh, the fucking one where he he's a sh- piece of shit dad was so fucking. Oh, good. that's my boy. That's my boy. And he named Watch, him. That's he, my boy. He named him Han Solo, have, dude. You will have way more respect for Adam Sandler when you that watch that, my boy. Because people there's were going, two problems hey, with man, that. what happened to you fucking cussing and shit, man? Oh, well, yeah. And he's, he's Sandberg. Based, you know who he is? Well, you don't like Andy oh, Sandberg no, no. at all? But it's, oh, oh hey, come on! Because he's like the Ben Stiller piece of shit character in that. So no, it's like he's just not funny. He's not funny Bullshit. in it. He's not really... He's not Bullshit. The, he's not the Hot Rod was awesome. All he, he's, okay, Hot Rod after like four watches, I'm like, all right. That's the thing is I think Hot Rod... I think Hot Rod is the only character Andy Sandberg can do. Mm, yeah, like that's oh, so he's every other that, movie he's that. been in, he's that he's I touch hot cloud and I just kind of I'm kind of boneheaded like that's and that's what Bruh hates. Or Bruh hates that so much. What's Wait, the other guy that that was he, on he SNL? does a really Pete really Davidson. good. Pete Davidson, I already know you hate him. There is okay. I just I didn't even. There's ask a him terrible this, commercial for Smart Water with Pete Davidson, where yeah. not only is he himself. Which is horrible. A fucking frog. <laughs> but the gimmick is like. Literally a fucking frog. The gimmick's like about drinking water, right? So he's just like, you get the water crack thing. He's like, all right, see if I can do it. It's annoying. He's a. <laughs> it's already pretty, pretty annoying. Can you hear it? Oh, when it like, when you swallow it's loud as fuck. Oh, right. Like, like I don't want to hear that shit. You're yeah. like gulping and the what? Like, it, honestly, it's what fucks me up watch, or listening to uh, Uncle Joey's Joey. Because he always has oh, a water yeah, bottle. Yeah, He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Crunch, dude, and he crunches the shit out of this. Yeah, I, I just Fuck. can't. I can't. It's Joey t- Diaz, take his by the way, shit. Go over talking about like yeah, comedian. Oh, you know, yeah. Burger, 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 uh, when he's like in dad mode. Yeah, it's it's like some old man whispering in my ear all the time. It's you have why to have I don't him listen interacting to interacting with Johnny Cash, and that's when he's funny. If he's by himself, it's like okay, he's entertaining. But he, like, I'd I'd rather have him some some guest on that doesn't know him, and then he's like, and then I fucking shave my monkey with a fucking razor, and you're like, you're like <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and they're like a doctor, literally, and they're like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? But let me let me I gotta get to this because. Somebody asked me to say this because we were talking about absurdity. And I am of the opinion that West and Wang is a piece of shit. He shouldn't be on the camera. No, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, someone asked me to, to say this. And I have to I have to say, West and Wang, I don't understand you. And we don't need you. Okay. Let's go to the east side. All right. And that that's the end of that segment. Sorry. That's actually where he grew. Um, it smells like I it know for like a Trevor the Lever comment. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I it does mm. rhyme with that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that's about the only <laughs> thing I'm going to give you. But, uh, <laughs> and I, I agree with him fully. Oh, and man. yes, we can, we can have you and him on the podcast, this, this <laughs> unknown character. And uh, maybe we can explain that he's not good for this society. I'm just jealous you know, that he got a fucking you know? pizza before I did. That's yeah, bullshit. you like it because you're a fucking, fucking Goomba. Bullshit. Look at you, you fucking, fucking Goomba. Goomba. Shit. It's true. <laughs> Wait, have you, you haven't had a low pies pizza yet? No. Even my ridiculous band that yes. sings about food has had a pizza. I was told that you had to like <laughs> fill out a form online for that. Or somebody no. has to do it for you. No. Well, somebody had to do it for fucking for bullshit. We just got asked that to do it. What the fuck, man? Yeah. You know what would be the perfect topping for you? 
Stolen taquitos. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Taquito stealer. <laughs> uh, these are taquitos on top of a pizza. But they're not Somebody mine. called Brian. They're Brian. not mine. <laughs> hey, just uh, don't don't knock over the coffee that's in the fucking fridge with no lid on it. <laughs> Oh, the Chronicles of West Second Street. Was, they never Dude, stopped. Lennon was so fucking mad. You know what, though? Like, I was mad. You know what, though? <laughs> Let me say this. And I think I've, we've probably gone over this. We're all poor at the time. That's but, why. Well, yeah. Well, and I, was, I thought I was going to go out and get laid that night, too. <laughs> this was like, I was about to leave. Yeah. And, and. I, had, I was a loser, and I had my license suspended at this point still. <laughs> and uh, here I'm bitching a chain about spilled coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for my date to come pick me up. <laughs> and uh, then I was getting into the fucking fridge. It's probably the orange bus. <laughs> getting around, you know. I gotta walk to the orange bus. Remember that? My show? Uber's already here. No, the, what was the Uber of the Quad Cities? Like the orange connection. Oh, the bus. Dude, yeah, the, the orange loop, bus. The loop. The loop. You're waiting yeah, for the then, loop. Yeah. But yeah, Sh- Shane would leave like iced coffee in just like an open cup in the fridge. But no <laughs> lid. No and, lid on and, it. And, and oh, I knew. Risky. The thing is, though, I knew he did this. And I'm, I don't remember what I was getting out of the fridge or I was putting something in the fridge and I just right. fucking knocked it over and there's coffee all over in the fridge. And it's before I start <laughs> cleaning it up, I'm like, fucking shade. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> you motherfucker. Buy a fucking shaker cup, you idiot. <laughs> hate text. You know? It was, oh, what did I post? I think I posted about store. it on your wall. Yeah, it was, it was, I was even, even, even make it fucking It public. wasn't even on a, <laughs> His status, it was like, oh, oh I remember. my wall. It's like, oh, yeah, now I'm remembering your that. Your shit. that is an adult way to resolve an issue. It really is. So. I had done the same thing to my aunt like oh my six God. months before. <laughs> Dude, if it's on Facebook, there's an anniversary of it, and you have to do it. <laughs> and you just like have to do it. Do it to Emily. Just, oh like, my god! Make her spill something. Like it, oh, that'd be fucking great. <laughs> that was that time, you son of a bitch. Oh, well, I, I remember having conflict with Suge one time, and I was like, you know, the best way to deal with this. Tell everybody he's dead. <laughs> yeah, dude, and I'm it fucking. Yeah. I was hammered I the day before from your grandma, and I, I slept this. until like, like noon. Yeah. And people, I woke up to so many things of like, <laughs> oh my god, please tell me this isn't real. I'm like, oh Jesus Christ, what is going on? Like, <laughs> yeah, Michael uh, Malice, you owe me some money. You're stealing my fucking gimmick. <laughs> And, and it, uh, dude, you know, Holy explaining shit. to your grandma that you weren't dead, you know, that was kind of weird. Yeah. I was yeah. like, hey, Logan, what's going on here? What happened? And I said, I don't know. Was something happened with Suge. I said, something always happens with Suge. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, he's not dead, right? I said, I, I don't think so. Probably. We could take a fucking whole bottle of fucking booze. Dude, I, I was like dead to the world. Do right. you know what I mean? Like, I'm still breathing, but like. I, I was very happy they got me heat with the SCW boys because I'm like. Oh, did it? Again, just like the first time I was on the, the podcast. The rivalry is not dead. They all fucking thought they were all so fucking mad. So many people were mad. They're like, I can't believe they did this to you. I was like, that's. Realistically, I laughed so fucking much. Like, I was like, I was like, wow. If I really die, there are a lot of people who are, are either pretending they care or they really do. Right? I mean, oh, you know, we yeah. can all read between the lines. Like, I'm sure Suge's inbox was filled with some girls that were oh, concerned. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, so I probably no, did him a you favor. You guys definitely did. They yeah. yeah. definitely yeah. did me a favor. Oh, yeah. I definitely went down the road of like, oh, I'll check that one off the list that I never thought was going to happen. <laughs> yes, you care if I'm dead. Oh. I know the end. <laughs> it's just gonna make it's gonna make when you actually die like kind of a. They're not gonna believe it. Gonna it's it's all gonna be bullshit. Hours. They're gonna be like, he's not dead. It's he's not gonna they're die. Fucking it's around AI. Again. It's an AI photo. <laughs> Might be Chat GBT. <laughs> you, know, you never know. <laughs> Oh, man. Especially, you know, at that time, you know, that's early on. I think nobody understands the extent of how far broadcasm can go. <laughs> yeah. it's the broadcasm. Best. You guys remember Wait, broadcasm. On. It's still in the room. But I just mean, like, back in the day, uh, especially with me, we would be partying. I would say something and be like, oh, yeah, duh. 
fucking just something. make me just look something. like an asshole. Or it's like, <laughs> like, Which I probably bro, was an asshole. My favorite part was like, bro was in the middle of something because this is a, a Logan thing for it, <laughs> when he really starts getting hammered. Just doesn't give a fuck about what you're saying at all. Like, <laughs> and then like, bro was like, I wasn't fucking talking or anything, you know. <laughs> but then when what? he's wasted, he'd go, uh, hey man, and then no, we get when in, bro we'd turn into like a heart, Rogan. To heart, and we'd be like, I, "You're my brother, and I love you, man. It's fine." We're when, just, uh, and it would just be us fucking in the corner for no reason, wasted as shit. Okay, talking to about be how clear, we love you're each using other. fucking as like <laughs> what kind of word? What <laughs> you just said? It, it was us fucking in the corner. We're in the fucking corner. Yeah. Okay. In oh, the that's fucking said corner. That. Oh, okay. We were right. fucking. <laughs> the, the fucking. It's the fucking okay. corner. Sometimes so you need your story to get less boring by saying we were fucking. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know. But my favorite is when Bra <laughs> would start to like catch a buzz or like he's mm. like drunk. He would just like Captain when you would ship. do that shit. He'd just be like. And he'd smile. He's like, ah, it's just normal. This is, this is my life. It's been my whole life. Well, I feel like that would be when I'd more aggressively tell him to shut the fuck up. Because oh, if there was bit. a tally a for bit. how many times I've said that to human beings, there's like everybody and, and then, then Logan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I might be Lurge or Larrigan at that time. I don't know. I don't know what type of drunk. Hey, you, you are what? the captain right. of the shit ship when you're that fucked up. You're Bernadette Jones to me, the captain of the shit ship. You're leaning against me when you're this fucked up, and you might be headbutting my shoulder. And or, like, or punching me in the uh, face. No, you are. Uh, quit being a little pussy wussy. Quit being a little pussy wussy. Quit being a little pussy wussy. Pussy wussy. That's like your gun suit. That was Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah. I mean, you, you were <laughs> pussy wussy. Yeah. Pussy wussy was the, the thing, you know, uh-huh. and, and that was good times, though. That, that meant that for sure something was getting broke. Oh, at yeah. West Second, like uh, it didn't matter if you lived there or not at the time, it was going to get broke. Well, I mean, you pay ten bucks for a coffee table. <laughs> you know what the end of that coffee table's lifespan is going to be? <laughs> and it's not pretty. And that if was... you're a random dude at West Second, don't ask Bro to power bomb you. He will. <laughs> oh, even sober. Oh like... shit! Yes. What the fuck? Well, that was. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of actually. Uh, what was that Dearborn or Holly's place or whatever? Holly Oh, I was just thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, he like powerbomb Lucky, right? Lucky onto the oh fucking my t- God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said, hey, go ahead and powerbomb me through this. Because he felt bad. <laughs> Bro didn't even fucking flinch. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. He didn't even think the about The wrestler in you yeah. or even backyard wrestling in you, it doesn't matter sober or not. You're like, dude, I'm going to fucking powerbomb you. If you tell me I'm going to pop, I'm, pop, I'm going to fucking do it. It's, it's a Snickers situation. You want that satisfying crunch of the table. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's exactly. Which you, you didn't get. Oh, it yeah. was more of a it because it wasn't a table. It was, it was like some piece of yeah. shit board that we found in the garage. <laughs> Which is all they have now. I just remember the doors. Lucky just it's like it's doors. doors. It's kind doors. of scorpioning right on the fucking table. Uh, <laughs> oh. Fucking Holly's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. It had nothing to do with her nice celebration. No. It was so, just, okay, we're getting dark. Earlier, <laughs> earlier is referenced that Dave Stage will be in town. Dave Stage was the mm-hmm. catalyst of why that happened hmm. because I, logan was wasted as fuck never yes it's true <laughs> believe it or not we might have tied one on a little bit three sheets to the wind and all that but dave hyped lucky up to run and jump clothesline you oh okay and so uh lucky was scared because he's like i don't want to do that logan like what if he fucks me up and dave's like i got your back don't worry about it <laughs> So he's like, okay, runs, takes off, blindsided you. And I am literally not paying attention So you go flying in the back of my head. I'm like, oh, shit, there's like a big old planter behind you. And I was like worried you were going to fall into it. No, oh, I'm so sure So Lucky felt bad because he didn't think he was going to knock you over, but you just didn't see it coming. Because why no. would you expect Lucky to just come running full speed close by you? <laughs> so when Lucky felt bad, he's like, bro, do you want to powerbomb me? I'm like. Yes. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. <laughs> retribution. Fantastic. Yeah, a little, okay. a little but it was, retribution, but also, it was but also, it also still like it. All, all comes down on Dave State's fucking <laughs> <laughs> shit. I think that he was dark too. Yeah, I, I think like that, that was the, the first time I met Dave Stage was that night. Uh, that, yeah. I remember him yeah. talking to me and he's, he's like, can I tell you something? Because <laughs> you know who Chris, Chris Hemsworth is? He's like, yeah. He's like, Thor. Like, yeah. He's like, you look like him, just <laughs> shorter. <laughs> oh, he did that with his head. <laughs> I was like, thanks, man. He's like, I, I hope you know it's a compliment. I was like, it is, thanks. 
<laughs> he's a handsome man. I just, yeah, uh, he's well, like, you he know just that? like his shorter brother. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, now dude. he's been tearing it up from what I see, you know, yeah. especially the pictures. Looks like he's getting loose, starting to do some like humorous stuff. He's having fun. Man. And that that's that cool. is, by the way, that's probably the hardest thing in anything, not just pro wrestling. I just mean like being a comedic person on, you know, uh television like, series or something. Yeah. It's gotta be like super fucking hard. Uh, I don't know. I but, made you guys laugh like five times. <laughs> yeah. Thing but like, yeah, it's easy. Everything's easy. Well, <laughs> it's when you're loose. Broadcast you idiot. <laughs> Keep up. It's happening. I can step on stage and make everybody laugh if I fucking want to. Really? You're going to step on Dave? No, page? I'm not going <laughs> to. Whoa! Because challenge. This, this was what I will Bruh put him through this for. fucking table. Bruh has been fucking making sure that Dave Stage was mentioned on the podcast already because he wants to set up a brother versus brother match. By the way, by the way, I think Ooh. I wish we had a fucking and then show Bruh coming is up. Come out in a wheelchair. Yes. <laughs> oh my fuck. <laughs> As the special guest referee, <laughs> how they gonna give him a wheelchair? He's got a, he's got a fucking bear crawl to get to the fucking. Dude, oh, like be Ivor so the Boneless funny. from Vikings. What is it? Ivor the Boneless from Vikings. Oh man, I, you'd have to. Uh, I don't fucking know. You didn't watch reference? Vikings? I did. It was amazing. I was one that sent that. You know to the character you. that couldn't walk. Why is that not? I don't the know. Main character for the last three seasons. Because <laughs> Logan didn't really didn't fucking watch, watch it. Because he watched the first season and was like, this is great. And then just Ragnar gave up. Wa- Dude, Rothburn is the fucking main character. The show starts and ends with him. So when he dies, fuck that show. Okay. Well, thanks. It a couple <laughs> See, obviously, he didn't fucking I watch it. Like I, said. I can't do anything. That, was amazing. Amazing. that shit ended in 2017. <laughs> you didn't have a kid then. Fuck. God damn it. Either way, the point is, is obviously you can be a referee that's handicapped. I'll I'll run it over with Nick, and it it'll go <laughs> over. Nobody's gonna think it's uh, offensive whatsoever. And on top it sounds of that, like it'd be a quantum leap episode. <laughs> yes, he just looks in the mirror. And he's like, oh no, he's <laughs> that's exactly where my mind went. <laughs> That sounds so familiar. You're gonna have to There's like a ding, 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 and then it cuts. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, I'm retarded. <laughs> 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 You're pretty retarded. <laughs> Cancel. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> what is that line? The fucking oh, Tropic Thunder. Fucking, he's like, you never go full retard. We all know that. <laughs> I love that. That's still not canceled. You know? Uh, right? It's uh, black, Robert Downey Jr. Face. was like blackface. I, like, think, I think the most you get now is unless you've legitimately done something that, right. like, now it's like people can just like, there can be an interview that's like so and so is calling for this to be canceled. It just doesn't happen. There's like a, it's probably it not trends even, on Twitter. And then it, yeah, it. it's probably not even really happening. So who gives a fuck? Well, yeah. because uh, the the min- minority has a loud voice sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. So, but if you don't I mean, apologize, bro. That. If you don't and, apologize, and also you usually and win. Also, there's like 80 people that watch this show, so we don't have to worry <laughs> about it. Right? Hundred. So fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get the number you better three. Fucking yes. jump that and up. I can't even fucking believe that, honestly. Yeah. I am appreciative of I'm, anybody who's watching I'm this. Happy Definitely else. fucking yeah. put a comment down below and be like, these guys suck. We yeah, do. something like, and hey, uh, you know, the guy who hosts the show, he's too fucking big. You know, he just takes up too much of the screen. That's why Brock can't be a referee, even if he's in a wheelchair. Because he'll be a gay He's still guy. fucking taller than everybody else in the ring. I guess Dave's a little bigger than most. But he's a big boy. Oh, my God. Dude, if fucking you could build, like, a prosthetic like that, so he Dude. is actually sitting, like, like way taller. And he's, like, this awkwardly tall, long torso in, like, a wheelchair. Well, fucking ticket <laughs> I will and then I'll leave after that part <laughs> oh man oh, but what was that movie um Ethan Hawke and uh Jude Gotta Law go. yes yeah right away you were like fast <laughs> where he likes like how tall are you and he's like blah 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 and he goes like not when you're in the fucking wheelchair like yeah. how tall are you yeah <laughs> predestination Watch that with Ethan Hawke. Yeah? I haven't seen that. I remember seeing trailers for that. So I've learned that if you eat little random things that taste delicious but have certain chemicals in them (laughs) and watch (laughs) fucked up movies, they're super fucked up. Yeah. Um, Predestination is about time travel, and that's always a dangerous thing to watch 
while on you're fucked up. Because yeah. you already have trouble with time. Yeah. And being caught in time with chemicals between us. He loves to lick a penis lying in a bed. Yeah, Logan, you just gotta <laughs> stop talking about Bush all the time, all right? <laughs> Bush light, Bush heavy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that movie's fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, what year did that come out? Twenty. It's like it was still old or something. Not like yeah, old, really right? recent. It's, okay. it's a fucking uh, mind fuck. Though. Emily, I can't even think of who Ethan Emily Hawk ate is. too many. Dude, he's like finding his own now after doing so much. It seems like he sometimes fucking, that happens, man. Sometimes Emily, yeah, like, Emily, yeah. like what we'll take, we'll purposely take like one too many edibles and <laughs> watch these like super dark, like German silent films. Okay, and I'll get home like from work, and she's just like. <laughs> may, like, may I suggest uh, we have a movie night to something? Yeah, because um, we got the downstairs setups yeah. fucking great for it. But mm-hmm. I, the movie Mad God. Yeah, uh, talk, I've heard of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Heard of this, it's yeah. all it's all man uh, guy like or man. What do you mad, say? God. mad God. Mad God. It, by the way, I. I got about 15 minutes into it and like kind of was like, oh, fuck, I'm tired. Is there actually any dialogue in that movie at all? Uh, no. Like there's characters okay. that speak, but I wouldn't call it dialogue. It's just like shit you're going to hear. Right. But I watched that movie and for, I mean, I've been talking about it ever since. I bought it on Blu-ray. Which you don't do these days because why Unless, the fuck would you ever buy it? I, but I was Mandy, like, Mandy, and that was that's the. By the way, I recently watched that, watch that movie. Said. That movie is I still haven't fucking watched that. I want to watch weird, that. but also fucking Sorry. great. It was Nicholas great. Cage, right? Yeah. Nicholas Cage. Oh, dude, he's but the man right now. Mad God yeah. is fucked up because when I watched it, I thought, "Holy shit, the world's a simulation!" Like this movie. <laughs> is based on four weird-ass nightmares that I've had in my life, all right. combined into one. I was like, how the fuck does this guy know to make this movie based on all these dreams oh, okay. that I had? Yeah, I remember you talking about this. Yeah, yeah. because it, it's like a movie about <laughs> descending down, and you can infer whatever you want because there's no dialogue, but you descend down and down and down and down. There's levels and levels and levels. And the character, the main character, whatever, like goes through and experiences all this shit to do whatever the fuck he's going to do. You know, spoilers. But I'm like, this reminds me of a fucking dream I had. And then there's like weird scenes in there. I'm like, this also reminds me of a dream I had. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, was it horror or was it like? I, it I was a Shutter scared, original, but it's gonna be like, Shutter original. It, yeah, it would probably be in the horror genre, yeah. but like, I didn't find. So it when scary. you're saying that, scary, and you know, and you kind of explained it a little bit, it reminded me. You know, it probably isn't, but uh, as above, so below. If you guys watched that one, yes, but this yeah. is more surreal. Dude, that one, so that has me this, up. Yeah, that, that movie was that was up. fucking Linden. You ever watched that? Have you seen that no. one, dude? No, there, I, there you go. It, watch that watch. one. I don't know what it is about it, but yeah, I was things claustrophobic like, as yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, I just felt like I was in, you know, like, like, uh, those, like I'm actually in this movie, and yep. I hate those type yeah. of movies. What's the one we're <laughs> the talking descent, about already? Uh, the Descent. Oh, the, is it Descent? Where, like, you're, you're actually... fucking monsters and shit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one all, fucked me up, yeah. too. As Beloved... As Beloved was more cerebral, descents like monsters. Though, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Monsters, it's a little bit yeah, more like yeah. thought. Yeah. Yeah. What you're and talking about is more like psychological kind of horror. Yeah. But like mm-hmm. this was horror. just, it, this is out of this world. Like if you guys watch it, it's like, what is it? They call it like stop, uh, Stop, stop motion anime. animation. Yes, that's it. And it's all clay work and shit like that. You know what oh, fucked wow. me up is when I was a kid, I went to Makoka to caves and I actually tried to get down into the cave. Or the, 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 and, and that fucked me up. Oh, there's that's a, me up. I, so I, I can't, because I got about like halfway down and it was pretty far down, like 20 foot. And lands. I just look at you. I, dude, I'm telling you, I was wider than... I am ever a ghost. Me up. I don't want nothing to do with no caves. Yeah, there's that a, dude, shit's scary. Yeah. There's <clears throat> well, the uh, cave. Is internet really, internet like, historian just just put out like this oh, don't hour. Say it. <laughs> I know where you're going with it. Yeah, uh, dude. No. What is it? What is the, it? Hang the on, hang jelly on. thing. Huh? Uh, the oh. caves where the dude got stuck upside down. <clears throat> oh no! What is happening? So, oh, no, dude. So that's scary. so in like the twenties. There, there was this like in the there was 20s. cave tourism and like Ghost Kentucky song. was like a big thing because there's the Appalachian Mountains in that area has these huge cave networks from like ancient mountain ranges and stuff and from all this moving plates of fucking rock and shit. So um, it was like really easy to like oh I have a cave on the land that I own so right. I'm gonna make it a tourist attraction and advertise and there was all this like competition between like different guys that had caves and shit. <clears throat> and 
there's this guy who is, and these guys were all responsible. They would go into the caves and extend them. They'd like dig them out and find like, <laughs> they'd find Sorry. like, like giant, like, so, so anyways, this guy, there's this guy that's working on his cave and he's way down deep. And I mean, deep, like you go, it starts with this area that goes for like 50 yards where you got to crawl. You have to literally breathe in and keep your chest like sucked in the entire nope. time and crawl head first through. And then it goes down <clears throat> and then you get to a room called the turnaround room and it's literally another squeeze. And then it, it goes down and there's this 10 foot drop and then he's down Fuck. in this 10 foot drop. Getting anxiety. He's yep. down. Yeah. Yep. He's down in this 10 foot drop. And then there's this little crawl space that goes under what is essentially a mountain and he's under there and there's this spot he's trying to dig through to where there's this huge like like uh, mineral deposit like the stalactites like if you could make a big enough hole and and dig the rest of it out you could have people in there and look oh look at this fucking awesome thing dude is down there and he's crawling head first back out of this crawl to up to where this 10 foot ledge is and he has a fucking rock fall and crimp down on his ankle oh and for like two months, Jeez. he's stuck down in this. His lamp goes out, and it, it within like a week or so, people find out he's down there, and it right. becomes this huge rescue operation. They're trying all kinds of shit, and it's all these like nineteen twenty guys, like <laughs> like fucking like let's blast him out with dynamite, you know? And like, <laughs> like, like I would accept that. Yeah, people are like, dynamite let's, against let's my just head. take no. a, Get me out let's of here. take a torch down and cut his foot off and shit. And you can't yeah. even do that. Like most people can't even get down to where he is. Right. Yeah, this fucking idiot thought he was a and, worm. And there's let him stay down there. There's yeah. literally yeah. more collapses. And so from like the weight of yeah. people just being around in this area, more people being in the cave is raising the moisture levels and the temperatures and everything in this mm-hmm. cave and it's causing collapses and stuff. So like like they fucking get to the point where they're they're like we're gonna dig. Oh, it collapses again. He gets cut off from them for like multiple weeks. Fuck. Like at different times, and he's Fuck just down that. there by himself and going crazy because he's he's slaying in like water and shit. He's just pissing and shitting on himself like the whole time. And like I mean, that wouldn't matter. And and it goes on for like it's. I don't remember the amount of days, but I want to say it was like two months. Hmm. And they Which end up how trying to survive. He must have been drinking his own piss. No, you can't. Uh, even. There might be moisture like, coming well, down through like the, like the. Yeah, but you're also like you can only survive coming. without. Yeah, yeah. maybe well, he's they're they're something. like taking stuff to him because there are people that oh, can get okay. to him. So they're taking him like water and coffee and all the drugs. I was gonna yeah. say yeah. twenty. <laughs> Dude, as you're telling the story, I felt well, like I, I felt like I couldn't yeah. fucking breathe. Dude, yeah, he's like I really like, like he's pinned on his back like this, can't move. Like, wow, well, I was going to tell the story that I head. heard of, but now I'm like, now nah, one's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then inevitably he gets cut off and they dig down like from another area to where he is and he's dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, and then Fuck. even crazier, right? There's this whole saga that happens after hmm. where different people buy the land and like they had his body in like a display in what this the cave. Fuck? And then at some point somebody stole his body and like chucked it into a fucking river or like down a hill. And then they pulled it back and put him back in the cave. What the fuck? And like his what family is gets in this legal battle to get his body like put in an actual grave and they lose. And like, like he cannot get out of this cave even like fuck. after oh, death. Like, like, God. God, it's called it's called Man and Hole. It's on the Internet Historian <laughs> Channel. That's like scarier <laughs> than any horror it's movie I've ever so seen in my life. It's, like, it's worth watching terrifying. because it's. It, I don't know if you've watched any Internet Historian. It's really really funny. He does like these short documentaries on like things. He does one about the Area Fifty One like storming Jesus like twenty twenty, and it's hilarious. But this is funny. But yeah, dude, it is an anxiety nightmare. Dude. I was making Emily watch it, and she was just like curled up because she's hella claustrophobic. That's yeah, all, dude, that's so my like so response. Dude, yeah. could you imagine laying in a cave for like two months? I can't even listen only to that fucking. Can't even down in a hole. Down in a hole. <laughs> 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 
Thank you, fucking Lane. Well, and so it was actually, it was Save one of- your lane, so lane. Here's, Listen to this. This is even more interesting. So, so this was one of the first, like, big media things to happen where, like, newspapers heard about it, and they were updating it in the <sighs> papers nationwide, Jesus. like, by the day, right? And so then- the shit goes on for so long and they're not making any progress. People start coming out and saying like, it's a hoax. He's mm-hmm. not actually down there. This is all just a stunt. Like, cause his, his to distract you. Like, yeah, right. That's well, the like, dad, it's like it this guy's you. dad is walking around taking donations. Cause he was like an alcoholic. And so he's taking <laughs> oh. donations for his son so he can go drink. And so people are like, Oh, it's just like a thing for his dad to get money. And like, yo, this is in like the twenties. Yeah. Great know? depression and just happened. Literally a fuck. They're the eating shit. their own boots. Yeah. <laughs> They're like fucking boiling down shit. their boots and shit. What's for dinner? Boot soup. Your yeah. fucking belt, kid. Now I'm going to beat you. <laughs> for yeah, what? No, it's, for existing, it's, you idiot. And you get dust to drink. <laughs> But no, it was cra- it's, it's dawn, they get fucking dust. crazy. I don't know why I started talking about that, but uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's cool. really good. Oh, you just like, you like, like, you like anxiety. You're like, yeah, there's too much oxygen in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I I just suck all, all of it out. Of here. I hate that I can't see a window in here. <laughs> well, that like, fucking makes me feel like, fucking uh, weird. To, to even like to to yeah. counter that, there's even there's another one he has where he talks about that uh, cruise ship crash from like 2012 or something where like crack like capsized and like off of like the coast to like like italy or somewhere yeah called the costa concordia that's fucking hilarious and that's like two hours of like like how this crew in this cruise ship like could not communicate and they crashed into the fucking this, these rocks and what like so fuck? many people died because these idiots and like the captain <laughs> is like, these idiots <laughs> the captain is like <laughs> fucking this random <laughs> chick on the boat and it's and it's it's so Good weird for him now. You know, yeah, hey, there's rocks ahead. So no lives. oblate and glaze. No, what do you mean they can't communicate? That was literally, that was the helmsman, like, couldn't speak Italian. He could only speak, because they're all Italian on the ship. He couldn't speak Italian very well, so they're giving him, like, uh, headings, and he's totally fucking it up. <laughs> oh, like, like, oh, my God. Later on, Wait, this no. guy, later on, this guy... Flat. They have hearings <laughs> because they're trying to like put the captain in jail, and this guy disappears. Like the helmsman that couldn't speak like Italian, he he just like takes off to a different country, and there's like still fucking helm for splitter him. over there. <laughs> 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 oh, it's crazy! That's such a good channel. Like a lot of weird <laughs> but, shit. But also, it, we we all have that. Like I, I can tell from that story. At least we all have that claustrophobia when it comes Dude, to I caves and stuff. Not I, I don't people like that. People go on the top of buildings but, but, uh, and yes, shit yeah. like that and they get right on the edge and they're like, oh, I don't get Oh, yeah, let me do stupid <laughs> shit. Like, Fuck where the yeah. one where the friend holds you yeah. and he takes a picture while holding you off the fucking edge. I don't, edge. Ever, wanna, like, I don't ever want to take part in an activity where a little bit of wind could just kill me. It's over. It's done. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> So yeah, like at the age of 24, of me, I'll agree. I'm sure yeah. if I was younger, I was gonna say, like, 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 bro, bro, bro used to be that dude where yeah. you'd like go up in trees exactly. and shit all the way to the top. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, I spit on your grave because I don't like it. Okay. It's bullshit. <laughs> well, the older uh, I get, the less inclined I am to even imagine myself doing shit like that. Dude, like, I, fell, yeah. I fell in a mosh pit in November and my shoulder still hurts. Yeah. <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, it's like one of the, I feel like I might be bad luck because it's like the one show I went to and like Lind- Linda was like, Ah, fuck! My shoulders all yeah. fucked up. <laughs> yeah, well, and then and then I, you know, I fell out of, fell out of a golf cart at a, a full terror assault one. Year. Sounds like some bro would do. And my my ribs yeah. were just wrecked on this one whole. Yeah, side. not even broke, like bruised ribs. Just take a you. long. I had to do a push up to get off to get up every. Morning. And then when you push, Jesus. you feel like yeah. it's just gonna explode. Yeah, you feel like your rib cage is oh, just gonna it's... open up. Oh, so been... I fell out of a jet ski going over thirty miles an hour. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, when was this? Uh, Mm -hmm. In August, in Cleelum, Washington, and I broke two of my ribs. Oh, it sucked. (laughs) Just from hitting the water? Do not recommend Just from hitting the water. Well, I thought, like, there's a whole backstory to this, but, like, we're out cruising around. When I was driving the jet ski myself, I'm yelling out Kenny fucking Powers. I'm living a dream. I'm living (laughs) eastbound and down dream. Fuck yeah. Great. And then Jeanette and I get on the jet ski and I'm driving around. It's all fine. We're getting ready to leave. So I'm like, Hey, do you want to drive? Like I'll hold your drink. And I'm just like on the back. We're doing 
fucking donuts and I don't know you don't do donuts and jet ski we're doing big circles, circles in the water <laughs> <laughs> and it's all great but then we're following the boat back to the dock and she pitches left and right and it was so subtle that it threw me off just enough to where I was like Oop. and then oh, and then I slip right off her because you know sunscreen and shit oh, yeah. uh, and we're flying so I look at the the water and I'm like oh it's so smooth so yeah. like soft it should be fine I'm gonna just take the flattest bump I can so I sprawl out in slow motion I'm just in the air Bam! Hit the water, and I'm laying there. Thank God I had my fucking life jacket on, because I'm just laying there, and I'm like, this hurts a lot. I'm like, I, did I get the wind knocked out of me? No, I can breathe. What the fuck? Yeah. No, no, this is not good. And then Jeanette's driving by with the, the jet ski, like, just hop on. I'm like, okay. So I try to reach it, oh. and I'm like, trying to pull myself up. I'm like, you gotta just stop. I can't, like, with the momentum of it moving. So finally she gets there. I pull myself out of the water. It hurts like a motherfucker. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, no. I'm I'm in the middle of a family vacation with all of her family, and I'm like, I, we got to go to the hospital, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like in those movies, like for real. It's like, uh, oh yeah, adult, family reunion. What an adult decision to make, though, because I would have been like, no, nah, it'll be okay. Well, I did say this. <laughs> I'll be alright. So everybody yeah, was let's like, get on the Ferris wheel. Everybody's <laughs> dad's like, oh, we're having ribs tonight. No, we were going to a fancy fucking club restaurant. <laughs> We're going to a fancy club. Her brother, her brother was like making hell of jokes and making me say. laugh. And I'm like, oh, it turns out laughter is the most painful. Yeah. 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 Um, I was like, no, no, like drop me or like everybody, let's just go back and then I'll go to the ER later. And they're like, no, like you couldn't even get in the car without yelling Jesus Christ in front of her very religious family. Like, uh, okay. That's fair. Fuck. I'm like, oh, oh. I, Dude, I can imagine breaking a rib. Like you, you, Lyndon, you bruised yours it was, too, it right? Was, they were, yeah, they were bruised. I sure. bruised mine. I can't imagine what it would have no, felt like I, to fucking break no, cause, one. Cause, yeah, no, because when it's yeah. broken and you're you're breathing and you're just feeling it. Yeah, like, it was the worst pain I've probably ever been in my life. <sighs> like it, until yeah, they gave me teeth, drugs, and I was yeah. like, all right, I can survive. That's the shoulder. When I hurt my shoulder, like it's the first time I've ever like broke anything like arm wise or shoulder wise and I was still just like I'm just glad it's not like a finger like cuts and shit gross me out like when I cut my they cut the tip of my thumb off nearly like I open the top of my cum my thumb like a tuna can <laughs> my cum my, <laughs> my cum I was it was the first time I ever like and I can't I was bleeding I so bad I couldn't speak like I was doing the same thing it's like ugh and uh that Freaked me out more Fucking than like, Emily just my started. arm. You can see it. Like internal stuff, you can't yeah, see it. I feel like it's right. easier to yeah. process. So, yeah. but man, just the shit you realize you can't do when you have like a hurt arm or hurt mm -hmm. ribs, and you're just like, oh, I'm never gonna take brushing my teeth for granted. Being yes. yeah, 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 not yeah. being able to walk though. We you do understand uh, that. I do. Okay, because I would. I'm gonna tell you right now. Nuts. I would rather. Rather hmm. break my fucking arm than any of my legs or fracture yeah. an ankle again Probably because true. not yeah. not being able to fucking drive, yeah, yeah, dude, was a fucking nightmare. Literally, I have, like I with my teeth, bro. I've oh. had so many problems with my teeth. Same. Uh, no, wait. I'd rather break my leg than yeah. have teeth problems that I really. Oh my god, have a root canal. Dude, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. fucking barbed wire yeah. that they just shove in your shit. I still have a piece yeah. of a file in my to in my in my tooth down in there. It just broke. And they're still like, what, uh, sir? So like, the, there's that little file that they stick down in your root. Well, and like file, file that. out Get the, the fuck out of here. We don't want to. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and, fuck and they go, about? uh, so <laughs> like the file that we're using just like broke inside your tooth. <laughs> and I'm just like, and I've got the, clamp, I've got the clamp in my oh, mouth. I'm like, shit. Uh, <laughs> do I get a discount uh -huh. for that? Yeah. <laughs> so, so you just lost a tool inside my just, mouth. In like, my just, that is fucking awesome. We're just gonna leave it in there and charge you for it because, <laughs> like, oh, it's not fuck. gonna move, or at least it shouldn't. <laughs> and uh, so it'll be okay. And I was like, ah, oh, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so, Lennon's loving it because he's so higher I, than a fucking guy. He's like, this is no, where I wanted to go they, all day. They all they did was was like numb me. It they wasn't, didn't, they didn't, they wasn't Novocaine when you have stuff on your mouth. You know like, that. You know that. So, so then there's that, and so like forever, I have this. I don't know what it's made out of. It's probably not not a big deal. I don't know. But this is when I was 19, and then so like a few years ago, I, I get a really bad infection because I have a crown now. There, where that was, and I, I get it's so bad. I mean, yeah, 
infect a tooth. Your it, face is out. I couldn't you know? fucking like, yeah, I do. I woke Everything myself. I, I must have yawned or something. I woke myself up in the middle of the night because I yep. beat down on it. Because what happens is shit will get underneath the crown and get, in, get my jaw infected pretty much. Yeah. And it was so bad. I drove myself to the ER and I was like, Fucking help me. <laughs> like, right, right, give right. me something. Like, he's, just, he's antibiotics. You should probably just, like, brush your teeth better. Or, like, go to your dentist and have them look at that. So I'm talking to my mom. And I was like, yeah, it's like they said they didn't put the crown right on. Like, it's not on all the way. And she gets under there. My, my mom goes, yeah, they weren't very good there. <laughs> <laughs> so then I get all those memories back of, like, the shit is stuck in my jaw just sitting there. Yeah, they Treat you like a guy from the, the 1920s. The fucking in Iowa hole. 80 truck stop dent- dentist, you know? Yes. Which is a thing. Yeah. Which is a That's thing. That's not what it okay, was. Okay, well, I don't. What? 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 As a thing. Was a trucker there doing was, fucking a, dental? Well, like, no. you, well, it's, it's not well, an actual trucker doing But what it's, it's really thinking <laughs> when it comes down to. Yeah, I worked yeah. at the Wendy's. I can well, see them going, well hey, be, buddy, I'll take out your Open tooth. up. I got so a like, pocket filled with my own piss. Remember they that have, guy? They have. No. Holy <laughs> fuck. That guy stunk like don't. a goddamn stink cloud. You could see a stink cloud when this guy walked in because he had a fucking bucket. I mean, I worked there for and, years, so. Yeah, you were in the back. You were in the fucking drive through That's what it was. You were in the back, so you didn't remember this guy. This Dude stunk like shit. All, all, all of the shits. Like a- every type of animal took a shit, and he had it on his bib. Sometimes uh, homeless people, yeah. certain homeless people, could be that way. No, he he was a farmer. Could be that bad. He was definitely yeah. a farmer and a trucker. So, you know, again, I, I don't, I don't. Well, what I'm, what I'm coming for a, a double cheese bog. I want a double cheese bog, and then like, you couldn't understand what the fuck he said. And then I said, you know what? Why don't you go and fucking put your stink all over Lennon's teeth? He just got them fixed. (laughs) So what I'm saying is what what Lennon's talking about (laughs) is there is a fucking dentist Mm -hmm. at the Iowa 80 truck stop. And like, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, it makes sense that, you know, truckers are on the fucking road. And they're like, we'll just stop at the fucking world's largest truck stop yeah, and get my fucking tooth pulled or fixed or whatever. Right. Yeah, but yeah, that's pretty common because you're on the road all the time and you yeah. just eat like Dude, shit. just tie a string to your truck. It'll take it out. <laughs> well, who's going to drive it? <laughs> fucking A. If you tie a string to your truck while you're driving so, yourself, yeah. nothing's going to happen. Just do it. Let it go down a hill and then you have to that run to get this side. Not coming out. <laughs> <laughs> if your name's been insane, your tooth ain't coming out. That uh, fucking truck has got enough, it doesn't have enough horsepower for that fucking teeth. I love you, buddy. You got to come on, you Son of a bitch. Anyway. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, so let's go back to claustrophobia. No, hang on. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about teeth, and I definitely don't want to go back the movie to that. Oh, yeah, no, no, we were the talking teeth? about the wor- worst, like, what would you, basically, what would you rather have happen, or what would oh, you rather yeah. break your arm? Would you rather? Yes, yes. Uh, definitely rather break my fucking arm than one of my legs again. Or, or, or even ribs. Yes, oh, yeah, that fucking sucks. And breathing would hurt. Everything would hurt. But there, I would much rather... You you want to fucking snap my wrist or break my uh, fucking arm? Like, yeah, go ahead, take away my arm. At least I can walk. Yeah, exactly. and with ribs, it heals fairly yeah. fast. Yep, like yeah, it's bad. It sucks ass getting like a sneezing. I still have costo chondritis from sneezing. Yeah, like I, so, like you have to what? learn. That sounds like a cool ass band name. I mean, maybe, <laughs> but it's not a cool ass affliction. So, oh, okay, when you sneeze, you have to like. Get all proper with your posture, or else you're fucked. So, like, if I did this and sneeze, I'd be okay. But if I'm on the couch, just like, all right, if I don't move, I'm good. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta sneeze. So what happened was, I was like, I realized I have to sneeze. I tried to sit up as fast as I could, and I didn't make it all the way. So I was hunched over. I sneeze, <clears throat> fucking just cause a shitload of inflammation between the. Dude, uh, when you said really. that, I was thinking of an alien chest burst. It feels like it. <laughs> Dude, that's I what thought- it feels. That's what it feels like when I even had a bruised rib. It was like, yeah. oh my god, something's gonna burst out of my yeah, fucking yeah. chest. Yeah. Like I went to the pop. ER the it's next like, day because I was like, I think I rebroke my ribs. Space like balls. it hurts, it's sticking out. Like I don't know what the fuck was going on. It's fucking terrible. space balls happened to you. Fucking guy came out of you and you started to say, ah, fuck it. I guess yeah, I'll then I tipped him though because I'm like, that show's pretty good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so it's space Vegas. Balls. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Greatest right. movie of all time. I have a question to pose to the group. Um, yes. I've been gone for three years, obviously visiting, uh, yeah. coming back, seeing how shit changes, I guess, but like, or doesn't, or doesn't change, which is 
what I wanted. I don't want the shit to change. I fucking <laughs> love living here. Do um, not ask. I know you've been in Seattle. We are not doing a grunge band with you. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> good. Thank God. Um, there's no music scene in Seattle, really. I mean, there is, but not like right. you would think. Because of the pandemic and shit. I bet you it was The pandemic awesome. definitely fucked everything up, closed a lot of venues. There's, uh, there's more Portland stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Portland's a little uh, bit more lit. Uh, Portland, yeah, yeah. Do people say lit? I don't know. Yeah, they still say that. Yeah, it's good people band. still say that. Not much, man. <laughs> um, do you feel like the Quad Cities have changed in three years? Because, like, I sort of have, like, a, oh, this is how it was and this is how it is kind of vibe to it. But like, I feel like that okay. comes with age. I'm more like to see what the things... was and the is is with you, though. Because, I... like, we need more uh, context to that. Well, to me, it's our age. You know, when you go to certain yeah. places you used to go to and you're like, fuck. Yeah. I feel old. Like yeah. you go to you go to fucking kill Kenny's, like I did with one night with a bunch <laughs> of been there which, a, which a bunch of fucking wrestling. You know these kids are in their fucking twenties, so I walk in. I'm like, yeah, it works for them, but I'm like, I'm the fucking old guy trying yeah. to look cool yeah. in yeah. a bar. That's what I felt like, and it's probably how it looked. And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, or, I'm. Or I'm that's leaving. your insecurity, and you're actually yeah, more cool as fuck. Maybe, right maybe, <laughs> but like, no, not there because you have to dress like a Palmer the day. Dip shit. Yeah, 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 yeah like some true. fucking uh, be yes, dressed up and like. Mm, no nope. cream colored khakis yeah. Yeah. Like something shirt. yeah fucking crocs on for no reason because that's cool i guess crocs are cool man you put pins on that shit <laughs> i just learned that that was a thing like i saw some bands selling like yeah like croc all with their shit on their like, like pins whatever the fuck they were right <laughs> what a fucking croc that is <laughs> anyway that's a good point though like the different not the croc thing but um, like but the age the age changes yes. things yeah cause because I, I don't think anything outright like as it like in just in terms of like reality here has changed beyond right. like just what COVID changed. Yeah, three like years is not going to have no. a huge effect on that. No, other than music, I was telling yeah. Emily yesterday. I really like, like I seen this show flyer just the other day, and it was headlining was Traffic Death. They've been they're a band from Iowa City. It's been around forever. But then like all the other three bands were like Frontal Assault, Ill Omen, and Toxic Messiah, and those are all. Like thrash bands of like kids, pretty yeah, much. young like, guys. Yeah, like Toxic Messiah is Anthony, my old roommate. He's in his mid twenties, but like it's all people under thirty, and they're all like been around about the same time. You know, there's and it was just like fuck, man. There's like and and just the bands I know in like the Wisconsin area and just like the outer rim of the Quad Cities and and the region and stuff. There's so much music happening and there's shows happening a lot more often here i agree that Along is with not even just music but then like you know like wayne doing his thing and fucking who you know who i'm talking about <laughs> all right well let's not mention and, it <laughs> wayne and, lighter uh, we're not talking about wayne oh, oh yeah okay. i should say you trevor and wayne, 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 wayne okay. yeah yeah, yeah. Don't and, act like a wing. uh you know just everything like i don't know it's pretty dope like, I think that's just gotten better. Yeah, anything, there is the a bit of as soon as COVID restrictions started to lift and people started to do more. Now it's like everything. Every show I've played has been like packed. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. not yeah. been one show where I was like, "Wow, there's nobody here." It's it's fucking wild. And big thing, big thing. I will say, just uh, you know. I, like we didn't have, you know, in the 99, 2000 to 2008, we didn't really have like people uh, that had a business that were supportive. And now you got low pies, like you got wake. Yeah. So yeah. you got businesses that actually want you guys to put on shows and Lyndon, you're feeling it more because you're literally booking a territory, which is fucking cool. I also feel like because uh, of places like that, because yeah. they are, they love their community so much. They're like, well, we fucking love these things. Like, yeah. we want this to fucking happen. And it wasn't happening when we were younger, right? No, so, I mean, so we like, had the risk people that grew up music with us. Yeah. yeah, it's the same. To, it's the same age guys. Hall, make it happen. Too. So and we have the RME Hall, which is actually government backed, so that th- that place can never go. That place down. was never going to keep going. <laughs> but what, what we were using what, it for? And again, we. I say we. Yeah. I was in metal community. Uh, they had fucking shows though that like killer shows, like punk and you know pop rock and shit like that. That I wasn't Some into. Good ageless shows. Yeah, and and ageless and, and ancients as well. well I believe the fire alarm. <laughs> 
That was a fun night. That was a fun night. That was. That was. I'm gonna come get you. You're fucked. Anyway, that was wild. God, yeah. That's one of my favorite ageless memories for sure. Yeah. Well, I, I think going back to what Shug said about short-haired Lyndon, the age thing, <laughs> not to tie into the ageless show. But right, right. That's a, that's a big difference now is that, uh, you know, when that show happened, we were all pretty young, right? And we're still young. We're not like old as fuck. Right. We're all under 40. Right. Well, mm. Give me a couple months. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> so, but, you, you know, like we were at the age where we would... We would go to a show and then there would be either there'd probably be like a house party where everybody got together and like the goal was like, Yeah, it's Saturday, of course we're gonna get fucking shit ass drunk. Now everyone's yeah. like, Ah, you know, I don't I don't really wanna get drunk. For real, dude. Like I'll come home yeah. from like a show out of Iowa City, I'm like, it's ten o'clock. Dude, I'm ready to go home. Yeah. I want to go to sleep. I had I'm fucking laid out of my bed. I had a Jack and Coke and a beer last night, a PBR in a bottle. So it wasn't great. <laughs> um, and that was it. And Emily doesn't drink. So it's like, it's so easy to just not drink. Yeah. You forget that this is fuel yeah. to last all night long. Yeah. Right. A hundred percent for me. Other drugs 100%. that are probably better at that. Right. Moment. Right. Yeah. You know. I get energy from alcohol. Stuff that weird. like smells good. No, yeah. See, that's the thing for me is it doesn't really do that for me. It makes me tired. Makes Are you me serious? Alcohol. That's because you only really? have a few. Yeah. You have to have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, have to like, yeah. Bro, you gotta buy I the ticket and take Lyndon the ride. Bo- it's false. <laughs> I've watched him take drink take hard, and he gets energy galore. It's just okay. If you, well, if you just have then, a few. Yeah, not yeah. now. Not the no, last time. You just have a few because you just had liquid carbs. Yeah, that are like, hey, go go nine nine. You gotta be an adult and drink nice whiskey. I just I want to do. I have started. To do that is I want to just go to the gym regularly and not drink. Like that's uh, been the say, best. That's so true. Yeah, I've been going that's to, been in my life for way too long. I'm back in the I'm back <laughs> in the gym three nights a week now for like two months, and it's fucking amazing. I right. love, God damn love it. to hear it. It's so amazing. Yeah, health's pretty and, boring. And then right. I just eat edibles <laughs> anyway. and you know sugar edibles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh you just oh, that's still not that did. bad. Though. <laughs> like uh, there's on. four grams of sugar. Logan over here, King Healthy. I'm fucking <laughs> Alcohol every night. Like, booze, I don't know why, but booze, booze doesn't turn into sugar when it God gets into your I body. Or anything. I wish I had alcohol every night. No, I only do it when I'm around you guys because I have to stand you. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I almost made that. I kind of made that joke with Morgan on the way to get candy. I'm like, dude, we're not buying candy at the fucking. We're not getting it there. You probably we're stopping it. at fucking high Yeah, You got it from Predator so, in a Tree. Yeah, oh, want some candy? It's a trick. <laughs> want some candy? You don't make <laughs> that really easy. Oh, fanny pack, <laughs> right? So, like, Morgan had her mom's big uh, grandma purse, so it was great. But also, like, I made the joke. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go through this other side. They're like, why? I'm like, you know, it's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a shot because you guys are stressing me out. <laughs> And I did, I did, I did, I took a shot. Evil Dude Dead movie, they have shots there now? No, 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 I took one at, I grabbed a little shooter at Hy-Vee while they bought their fucking candy. They still have Goose Island and all that shit there, though? They do have beer, yeah, and the funny thing is, if you have the app, you can actually have somebody fucking deliver it to you in your seat, like popcorn and everything, whatever the fuck you want. What I don't like about the Evil Dead movie I just seen is that they're making dead girls look hot. Because you know, there's going to be a lot Dude, of all right, romancing so lately. Her name That's is fine. her name. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh, chloroform girl. How have you been? Oh, oh, are going to get a shit face and sing that together. Oh, oh my so, god! So <laughs> I was so, that in like 15 fucking so, years. So <laughs> the, the main actress that you're talking Bro, I about. To love that. And I, I haven't looked it up yet, Wolf, but whatever. her name is Alyssa Sutherland, and mm-hmm. I'm like. Sutherland, like Kiefer. maybe Kiefer's her dad. Yeah. Like, oh, was, he's the old was enough. Name that or a real no, actress? That, that's that's her name. Okay. The one that you're talking about in the scene yeah. where like they have already turned into a meme, which is awesome. Uh, it's her hugging her kids, and the meme goes, "When you finally drop them off at school, and it's when she's already bad or whatever a deadite, and she goes." I'm finally rid of all you titty sucking parasites. <laughs> and I fucking died laughing. How but yeah, she slashed you. Her name, her name is Alyssa Sutherland, and I'm, I haven't looked it up yet to see if the relationship. Well, how great. Is. Another I Alyssa in fucking Shug's life. The, <laughs> the chick that was in that <laughs> smile <laughs> movie. The chick that was in that smile movie was Kevin Bacon's daughter. Really? Yeah. The lead actress. Is it that. Macon Bacon? 
Her name, last name is Bacon. Which I was. <laughs> I would have thought that. that <laughs> Flint didn't even flinch. He was like, "Fuck, I don't, I don't even." I'm fucking ready. You. I'm ready for these every time. <laughs> fucking every owner time. of edible arrangements of here. <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> That's the episode. That's, That's it. <laughs> oh no, That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Oh, fucking A. Oh, holy shit. Oh, why is the rum gone? Why is the rum gone? <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about some dead chicks, right? Oh, that's, that's what we're talking about. Well, you kind of brought that up for some reason. <laughs> between, yeah. No, I just said she's way Wadsuki's too attractive now. for a dead yeah. chick. Oh, well, she's a deadite, you know. They yeah, didn't but really they make her look like. That. They shouldn't do that they didn't because they're going to her... get a bunch of fucking necromancers out there and oh, shit. Oh, well. You know, you know, crack open a cold one, you know. Are you meaning, are you meaning to say that like necromance, like romancers? Yeah, they're okay. romancing necromancers. They turned that into a movie, by the way. There are movies from the 80s Derek's called like Necromancer, Necromancing, and it's there's two of them. And it's about a woman who takes home a dead fucking body or a man. And it's like, and fucks him. He's dead. Oh, great. It's like, oh, cool. Let's just turn it into a whole fucking movie and make two of them. Like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I, I guess, did actually have something I wanted. Rigor about. mortis is uh, real. And, and again, I, I did <laughs> through all this mess, yeah, through all no, this fucking ground mess. when we're in a cave and uh, claustrophobia. Oh. I did have something to talk about, which is that: what do you think about AI nope. helping you with art? In we had that conversation the last week we did. a little bit, but it wasn't on the podcast. It wasn't on the podcast. So for me, I am uh, 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 interested in technology, so I have chat GPT, but I haven't fucking put any money towards uh, GPT-4, and uh, I probably won't. But uh, there's also like Midnight Journey and all these things, million AIs, and they, and they basically uh, stable diffusion. All these websites coming out with these things that, fuck, man, you type in what you want to see. And I'm not going to say you get exactly what you want, but, but you it's get close. you get something that you go, what the? F- well, that's fucking like, cool. It seems like the shit that you see, yeah, that like sticks out. You know, it's like the, kind of the funny stuff, like the like the Mad Max Lord of the Rings thing was pretty cool. Like well, let me ask this, uh, a certain way because well, I, I feel I was, like I asked it wrong. Is it disingenuous for me as as a person who's not? I'm not good at writing like you, no, bro. I, but I, I, I write concepts in my head really well. I'm a concept guy. I don't right. want to. I don't even act right, like right. I'm not. I'm a concept guy. So I act like truly, uh, truly. <laughs> not a concept guy. No, no. I'm saying pun intended. Will you give me a <laughs> Why did you fucking bring more beer? You, you cut. What a son did, of a bitch. I, funny thing is, I did bring that up. I'm like, Logan will sneak that Why in an episode. It's more and it's here. funny what that bro fucking what, did it. What, I'm, what, I, was, what I was going to say what, is, 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 is oh, that Sorry. that stuff that is, that looks really cool and turns out really good. The, the the prompts and stuff, the way they've manipulated that is so is a lot more complex than just going. Oh, Lord of the Rings in the Mad Max. Oh, bro, I'm, gotta, I'm literally it, right? <laughs> there's, I'm on the prompt. There's right so now, much bro. more big time. So it's the way I've seen it is it's weird. It was weird at first, and and I do think I do think that to an extent I would I would rather bands in general. Like if I'm talking bands buying art and stuff, like I like the idea of art being made better. Or being made by a person like in, in yeah, no, I agree. I agree. But yeah. but but if you got no money, but the fact, well, that's the thing is, then you have to learn how to do it. You have to you. It's still a okay. medium. So you have to you're learn saying how it to is use. disingenuous. Yeah. So for me, I, I don't think it's disingenuous because I'm not. No, the best I'm writer, not saying it's but, disingenuous. I'm okay. saying that it's a tool. Yeah. It's another. It's a new kind of tool for art that can be learned and can be manipulated to get specific results. I feel like and it's yes. a calculator. But then you can. You so like mathematics it. calculators uh, were disingenuous for the longest time. People would be right. like, "You can't learn well, that." Was that an abacus? Abacus. This was, you know, that's a physical thing, and, and yeah. it's true. So for this, it's like me. I'm not like a, a glorious writer, well, I th- but I do like I, I. I have my concepts. I, I have think, concepts for like movies and scripts, and yes, all this I, stuff. I, but I don't necessarily know how to write it. I don't know how to do it. But if you type it in Chat GBT, it is insane how fast they give you a, a concept mm. that you were thinking in your head. Now you have to tweak it. 
so it's never going to be a hundred percent chat GPT for me. Lyrics in my music have been influenced by chat GPT. And I wonder if that's disingenuous, meaning I had the lyrics that I wrote and I, and I put it in and I said, write this in the style of a prompt, you know, and I'm just, you know, being hypothetical because I, 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 I did it and I didn't take the lyrics. I just went, okay, I like what they did here. And then I went, oh, okay, I wouldn't come up with that concept. So it was a tool for me to, in my opinion, make lyrics that I liked better. I say, okay, well, I see what they did there. And it's almost like me bouncing, you know, you have Dan Freitag, right? It's you bouncing ideas off another person. I don't have another person in my, in my solo project. So I'm solo Sakai in my project, you know, uh, Sikawa, Sikawa. I don't know how to say his name. The point is I'm solo in that project and I don't have anybody to bounce off ideas. And so I don't think it's super disingenuous and, 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 but I do understand why people are using it to get better jobs and blah, blah, blah. That's well, pretty smart. Well, kids there's, are using it to pass. There's, tests yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's like some, crazy. There's some weird, there's some little nuances and like gray areas that are certainly going to have to like be addressed right. in terms of that. Um, but it's not going to go away. Um, I think, I think inevitably it'll be used. It's going to be used by companies more to like, just make advertisements and simple stuff. Marketing for sure. But then that's just, you know, that's just going to change. That's going to change how art is done by people Mm -hmm. also. Exactly. But, but it's, what I was going to compare it to is I think it's, it's closer to compare it to like when like electronic music starting, started to get popular and like, like, you know, when suddenly it just became manipulating sounds with like a dial or I mean, even a, or a even a foot digital. pedal where you could loop, yeah. you loop right. a fucking riff. So, so like yeah, people it. used to be digital music and as yeah, opposed people, to analog. Yeah, or, people would. Uh, but what happened? Or do you mean you literally people, electronica, the, the subject or the genre? Is, is that what you're saying? That would include everything. Yeah. So, okay. so like uh, it, electronic music, like. Like that started in like the late seventies. Okay. And later, okay. you know, became like new wave and shit and like yeah. stuff. When suddenly it became, you know, electronic music isn't just pushing a button. Like it's dubstep shit. I don't like it, but it gets a bad rap for being like, oh, it's a guy, you know, it's electronic artists, these DJs, they sit up there and they push a button. You have to learn how to use equipment. You have to yes. like manipulate Sound. sounds, and there are there are real musicians making that stuff, and you're they're finding there's real notes. Just it's not just because you know I think it's because you're not actually playing playing an instrument, right. even though so AI art is the same. It's still a tool. It's not just spitting out things and people are reaching out and grabbing it and using it. You still have to figure out how to use it. And there are bad examples of it. Lazy examples. People put one prompt and we're like, Oh, that looks cool. That's my EP cover or whatever, or you know, the, the label for my company or whatever. Um, that being said, if you are using it, you know, like, like Photoshop and like Illustrator and that kind of stuff is all really hard to fucking learn. Yeah, if they you haven't never done any Photoshop. Firefly. Yeah, uh, Adobe Firefly is coming out. S- the beta version is this. here. And this is this, and weird. this is a little techie, but it's true. Uh, that thing is insane. Just like ChatGPT, which yeah. they have their own thing called Dolly Two, yeah. which is their text to image is what the AI is. So if you just say, "I want to see this, this, this." And it comes up and with something. They'll make it happen. Yeah, and you have to, have, you know, the, the prompts. But they made it easier with Adobe Firefly because it, the the prompts are on the right, and you can kind of see what you're looking at. Okay, artistic so, view, blah blah blah. Right. So my son was yeah. watching YouTube, and like, there's a YouTuber who must have been using that, and was like, "What if this character looked like this?" And yes. then it would fucking pop up Literally. on the fucking screen yeah. like it's that insane. fast. You're like, "What the fuck." I mean, Especially if there's already pre art that I they think, can yeah, draw from. Exactly. I think the, the but is that not is that kind well, of um, what do they call copyright? Can I chime in here? Yes, I would say give credit where credits due. Right. If you're authentic about it and you're like, hey, I can't draw for shit, but I can talk to a robot that can draw. Yeah, don't take credit for something that something else did, <laughs> and that's what somebody else or something else. Well, so so if I if I painted something. 
you know, when I present something that I painted, do I have to list all the different brushes and brush sizes and the companies that the, made the brushes and the paint? No, who supplied? It, so it's not a black and white thing. There's nuance yeah. to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nuance like, to everything. You know, like, yeah. I don't know, like, this is a lazy way to look at it, but like when you're learning how to write an essay or, or whatever in school, you learn about plagiarism. So if you go, mm-hmm. all right, I'm stealing this line. You and then you switch it, it to, right? But if you, you like kind of own. tweak it and make it your own, then okay, you can get away with it, right? But that's been happening forever, by right? The way, you can find your way around. With, that. Like you don't necessarily. And you're right, Lennon. It is a tool. I think society will eventually figure out the way to look at that, right? Because it's I don't know. It's fucked up. It's weird. If you look at the single like last weekend that went viral on Spotify and had like a million listens right away it was like somebody had ai write a weekend slash some other popular artist song and mm-hmm. you listen to it and you're like oh, god damn <laughs> it's so, a banger what the fuck so, yeah. so ai, AI, made this AI was, wrote a fucking song it, it did no that's been happening for five years ai has been introduced into what's called vsti instruments i've been using them myself but that's what's helping me write is that i don't have an eight string and i don't want to go out and buy one no, because no but that, that it wrote but a yes. fucking full song yes, yes. Song. It, 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 and again that's what's fucking crazy you videos. listen to the song and you're like oh they made this. So they didn't. What's and cool, they sued Spotify for. I yeah, think they sued Spotify, but they're like, you got to take this down, like because that's not really us, but it does really sound like us. Yeah, to and the point who's where the money for that. Yeah, you know. I don't so know, I think weird. what's cool is it, it. Like I, I agree with you, Lyndon. It's a tool, and I, I don't think it's disingenuous. And I think that if you let them do the. Let it do the whole thing. Then Everything. it's disingenuous. Yes, like if it became if it became like a text to image that you literally didn't have to tweak at all or do anything like hours and hours because you you do the thumbnail for this and it probably takes you hours and hours, dude. I get it. Anything that you do in in editing or whatever is a lot of time. I know me and Trevor were going on that with the the podcast because he has to edit so much shit. Yeah, it's just days and days. And your family's like, "Hey, let's go out and do that." And you're like, "I got to edit this yeah. thing about something." And, and again, I don't know what he does because Trevor doesn't do anything like you know he he's not doing West End Wang thing or anything like that. I don't. Whoever's <laughs> doing that's probably really fucking you know he's got a lot of time. But probably Damien. Is it Damien? <laughs> no, man. Damien disappears for years at a time. I don't think he's yeah. back. Is he like a bat? Damien? In a cave? I think he's the son of Bruce Wayne. <laughs> that Makes son sense. Of a bitch. Uh, you, you know, Ra's al Ghul's his fucking grandfather. Just, you know. yeah. Well, we've seen Alex. Purely uh, what's his name? Nelson. Right over here. Yeah, he's it's like, true. what the fuck? And right then, across the street, like, his, yeah. uh, his kids' uh, mother's. It's like Parents. a small world, basically. So, like, and yeah. you're going, why the people fuck? exist for sure. Yeah. But, uh, with AI, Existence. if you read science fiction, like, I think you're more comfortable with this because you just saw it coming. Like, every good yeah. sci-fi writer also saw scary. this coming. Like, you're gonna have like shit I, eventually in your but, brain where it's I think like, it's, hey, it's, Butler, I think do this yeah. for me. The, the the biggest thing that that in the middle of this argument is is there an argument? Is people? <laughs> yes, it's the death well, not, not of here, but, like but real. Oh, that, okay. That what AI is doing is it's pulling data from the internet, the just collective fucking everything, and it's taking bits and ideas from what already exists. But that is literally what art what we do already anyways. is yeah. all well, the time. Anyways. So the That's question true. is, what what source of inspiration is genuine then, or what is finding that inspiration and turning it into mm-hmm. art? Oh, okay. because the only difference at this point then is it's the AI that has the ability to look at everything yes. yeah, and we just can't, match yeah. things up using algorithms versus a, a person that has to find the time and the emotional fucking high to create the thing and then do it right and not hate it and all this shit. So is it like... Yeah. In the end, is it are people mad that the AI does it so easily? You know, so fast, like, because so much faster. Well, because, <laughs> because yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, what the so fuck, man? Sure, but what can you do? You can't do anything about it. And like, uh, I artificial, think, superficial I think that, intelligence. I think that net. there's a good chance that <laughs> I think there's a good chance that. Yeah. AI art will be so prevalent and people will, there will be m- m- plenty of different ways to use it that will be learnable that handmade art or, or 
you know, uh, I guess I can't think of how to describe it. Like, like single brain art could be much more, could be worth a lot more. I agree. And I think you're seeing that a little bit with human interaction in yes. general, right? So like kiosk and online ordering are huge and they have been for a while, but like Amazon's not actually sustainable. Mm, like it's it not like primed fucks at over, all. Not prime. It fucks over <laughs> like a lot of manufacturers and stuff because of stuff out of, I don't really want to get into, but like there's value in going into a store and having a human being go, what do you want, man? Yeah. Like, like let's work this out yeah, together. And like you it. get that like textile or tactile experience like i mean that's what i do for a living right and like <laughs> i would yeah. rather go in and talk to linden about floors and just like assume that i can figure it out on the internet yeah. right? oh, like, maybe f- i'll oh, get a cheaper price dude, half yeah. of my job is yeah. fixing that bullshit yeah so, like, i mean like, linden could floor you with his knowledge about it um, anyway so we're reaching the end of youtube right now <laughs> we're way past the end of youtube right now and i want to say what time uh, is you it guys have to plug your fucking shits and uh well we guys, got the fucking site to do that for us well so. we do and who we'll does just, the sites it's only it's hours out of my fucking life right yeah well, fuck you tender but bitch. doesn't it just fucking like go it, like you click uh, on it and it's like yeah see there you go right away motherfucker and those right, are the two shows well, it looks like you already did this show. Yeah, both yeah, of those. Already both, both, both already happened. I have. So I have May 5th, uh, where Pitlord is in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, <laughs> with Beyond Death and uh, Vermin Fate. And then the next day, we're in Birmingham, Alabama. Did they love the govern- governor Death. down there? We love the governor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's going to be, we're going to go down there and somebody's going to be like, y'all had barbecue down here yet? And I'm going to be like, we haven't fucking left the venue. <laughs> <laughs> it's six uh, and a half hours, dude. Yeah, you're I, the only 10 I made that joke to him. Um, and then July 1st, we're in Chicago at uh, Livewire with Burks Clare Dissenter. And after this, I mean, by the time this episode comes out, they will have announced that we're playing with 200 stab wounds. Uh, I think in Rock Island. Nice. Uh, Fuck yeah. Hopefully that's that's June fifteenth. I think. Shuggy, you got you got anything? Um, I'm looking here. I have. It's I'm okay. Gonna like put over said, the I fucking could, next one. Like, I was gonna say I could put it over. Yeah, like obviously. Fucking. Hang on a second. Uh, try to find the date for sure. Not trying to be dumb. Um, that's actually my next show too. So. May 12th okay. uh, at West High. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're having a yep. fucking show, and I all, that one all of the proceeds go back to West High Athletics. So everything, like, none of the wrestlers make money. Um, the company doesn't make any money. It all goes back to the school for their athletics. Okay. Which is, by the way... The Give fact back. that Give the back. fact that our locker room yeah. is a real locker room, <laughs> and you can say that, yeah. like instead of like, oh yes, my dressing room, my locker room, like, dude, I could throw my stuff in a locker if I fucking wanted to. <laughs> Some guy, and I gotta yeah. still go take a fucking shower when it's all said and done. <laughs> nice, dude. But yeah, that's our next one. So oh, that's yeah. like the very next show, which is what two weeks away, whatever, two three I'll weeks away, three podcast, weeks away. That's our website. Um, bro, you got anything to put over? Yeah, where's the camera at? Right here. You zoom in on that? <laughs> put it in your <laughs> Fuck that out, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Don't come see me. Here. <laughs> Don't come see me. Leave me alone. I just want to put over new address <laughs> is... <laughs> Holy shit, that was great. Hey, I got to go great. fund me right now at Titanium Utopia. I'm trying to make it the best way. Uh, and I just want to uh, thank everybody who's already given, which is insane that people gave. Thank you so much. Uh, every week I wanted to uh, put an update. And I'm going to update you right now. I've got like eight songs right now. I'm not exactly sure who ev- everybody uh, that's going to be throwing down on it. Uh, I've got one or two confirmed and uh, I just think that this is going to be something to me that uh, represents something that's been in my head since I was probably 10. Um, this is a, uh, a story, a concept album, 
and uh, it's a story that has been in my head since I was 10. So I want to get it out. It's a prequel, actually, and uh, I can't wait to make more with nice. that, and I think there's more to that as well. And I kind of just wanted to see, you know, who wanted to support, you know, because there's people that are already surprising me that supported it. And I, I'm like, okay, well, I, I, I always knew this. I knew uh, your friends and your family want to support you no matter what. And I want to take that and, and and see if we can continue that with the uh, Suge Project. Uh, what are you know, these projects we've had? I feel like this episode especially, <laughs> when you taking a picture of me, is, uh, is making me feel the way that I wanted to feel, which is great. And I want everybody that watches this to know that we're trying to, to help brothers and sisters out. That's what we do. And uh, thank you so much. Can't wait to take a piss in a sink. Love you guys. (laughs) Shoot.